Hello students, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here. Welcome to the eight o'clock class, uh, teaching students how to improve on the violin at the advanced level. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be working on the um, Maza's book, uh, which is a really good etude book for improving on the violin. Uh, we're also gonna be working through the Bach Double, the um, concerto for two violins, that's out of Suzuki book five. Uh, we're gonna be doing the first violin version of that today. And of course, since what's so important to improve on the violin, number one thing that you can all be working on is Scales. So we're going to start with scales, and then we're going to get on to the etude, and then the concerto. Awesome. Looks like Jill has the mazas. Excellent. We have uh, we have um, nine of us here today, all um, people that have been really into the violin on our community page and trying to improve. So I'm hoping that these tips will help you guys out, as well as anybody else out there watching. So let's go ahead and... Um, look at the um, scale resource that I highly recommend. This will be available if you're on YouTube on the, in the description section. Uh, you can download um, any of these scales that I'm gonna be going through with you guys. I'm gonna share my screen. And basically what I want you guys to um, check out is this link to all the scales that are available to, to you to improve on the violin. So let me find that. Where is it? Let me try this. Nope, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so I have this resource here. This is actually the pieces that we're going to be working on. The um, raise your hand if you guys can see this right now that you're in the class. Okay, you can see the, the sheet music. Excellent. Okay, so um, this is what we're going to be working on basically today. The the piece on the left is the Mazas um, number two, the sweeping stroke, and the piece next to that is the Bach double concerto, the first uh, page. So I'm going to be talking about this today. Um, so basically, with the scales, um, hopefully I just shared it with all the students that are here right now, the link. But what I want you guys to work on is the C major scale in two octaves, for sure. And I'm going to be kind of going through that. And then also the F major scale in two octaves, which brings us into fifth position, which is a good position to know, um, especially in the sweeping stroke, we actually do go into fifth position. Um, so. So very good. So I'm going to go ahead and just play on um, play the two scales that I want you guys to really master. And I'm going to give you guys some good tips on that. So I'm going to stop the share here and come back. So C major scale and two octaves. What I want you guys to do is just really make sure you're using the whole bow. And I want you guys to really make sure you have good technique, good knuckles up, good angles back. I want you guys to make sure that you're not forcing your contact. And I want you guys to um, really be smooth with your shifts um, with, you know, going from first to third positions. Keep that thumb and the index together. And then coming down, make sure that you have a good hold on your instrument as you come back down into first position for the scales. So let's go ahead and um, actually you guys can go ahead and grab your instruments that are here right now. And let's play through it together. So let's do uh, the C major scale and two octaves. Um, quarter notes. Just to kind of warm up the fingers a little bit. All right, anybody that's watching, feel free to play along. All right, one, two, we're ready, go. good warm-up so um, also I, I recommend doing thirds with your scale so that would basically be doing every other note so it'd be um, maybe doing two per bow on that that would be good practice so um, we won't do that right now but that would be uh, something to work on all right let's go on to the F major scale uh, let's go ahead and do two per bow uh, eighth note so we're basically gonna go Right, let's try it together. All right, two per bow, eighth notes. One, two, ready, go.
Awesome. Good job. Good warm up. So I would recommend doing that and doing thirds. And then for next week's class, um, if you guys are watching this, you can come next week, hopefully prepared with um, having those two scales mastered as well as the, uh, the thirds. That would be really good practice. All right. Let's go on to the etude. So I'm going to share my screen again. And um, I will uh, kind of just go through the first little bit and then uh, take some questions from you guys. Any technique questions, any things you guys have questions about that are here right now? We have about 10 students here with us. So I'm going to share my screen. Back to this. All right. So, yeah, on the left there. We have the sweeping stroke. So we're in the key of C major. And uh, what's really important with this piece here is to really um, be accenting as much as you can. So with accents, really pulling the bow and emphasizing the notes. Um, and I really want you guys to use as much bow as you can and have lots of aggression, um, clean aggression um, with each of the notes. So that's gonna really show how much flexibility we have in the right hand. And um, ultimately we wanna really show that with, with this uh, sweeping stroke. So this is sort of how we should um, be playing the beginning. And then for the Schwarzando, which is this right here, um, that basically means that there's going to be a bite, a bite at the beginning of the stroke. So that really means that we're going to want to press, put pressure down into the, um, the bow stick and really make sure that there's a bite. So this would be no bite. This would be bite. Like that. Okay, so um, let me just go ahead and go back to me playing here. So you guys can kind of see me doing this here. So yeah, uh, notice how much bow I'm using and then also the way I'm accenting, so. With the swords on it, we actually put pressure down into the stick and release. Like that. Raise your hand if that makes sense. Cool. All right, so lots of bow, lots of aggression, lots of power. We want to show the power there with the sweeping stroke. Any questions so far? Please raise your hand if you do. All 10 of you here, feel free. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the sweeping stroke. Okay, so the Seagate, what it says here is basically just continue on with that particular style. So we're gonna keep accenting, we're gonna keep everything going. Um, the run that kind of happens here soon, this is gonna take some practice for some of you to do this properly. Um, use the whole bow. Um, and we might have to slow that down without doing the bowings if you guys are, are sort of at a point where it'd be challenging to do that run there. Um, and then definitely the one that's following is, is challenging here. So we'll go through that and talk about that a little more. All right, so let's uh, do from the Seagate. Make sure, um, one second. And make sure that um, you're doing a G sharp here as well. This is a missed note often with students right here. This is a high, but hope you guys love my writing. <laughs> hard to do it. It's hard to do it when I'm holding the violin. Um, so make sure you're doing G sharp there. So it's. And then G and then F natural. Uh, which one of you guys are willing to do that run there, just so I can see how you're doing with that? Well, it's probably sight reading for some, but you guys are brave. Any of you? Willing to do that run there? Guy Kern? No, it's kidding. <laughs> Guy is with us tonight. Um, 
He's a good friend of mine. He's hanging out. He's a more intermediate player, but um, anybody that's more beginner intermediates, welcome to come on these classes to get some tips and advice. So he is taking advantage of that. Anybody want to do that part there? All right. No problem. Go back to the uh, share screen. All right, and then the second, uh, if I keep going after that first run, the second run is very tricky, so. So um, when you're doing these finger stretches right here, there's a lot of finger stretches in this piece. Make sure that you keep your hand back and not stretch forward for that. So let me show you guys that. Um, it's very easy when you're, when you're doing those four stretches, kind of do it more with a hand uh, shift, hand movement. But we definitely want to keep the four back, the hand back when you're doing the stretch four. Raise your hand if that makes sense. Stretch four, keep hand back. All right, so this is a really good piece actually to build hand flexibility with four. Let's so make sure you're doing that. All right, let me go back. Sure screen. All right. Um, and then, yeah, there's a fourth sando, so make sure you guys are biting this double stop right here. I really got to put my violin down to do this. <laughs> right here. And then... Um, yeah, just all the intonation there. I'll play each of those notes slowly, so. so that would be a spot to practice. All right, let's keep going at the half bow. So harmonic here. Uh, raise your hand if you do not know what a harmonic is. That's anybody that's here right now. Let's make sure you guys know what that is. Harmonic. Okay. So basically, um, just it's the note right above third position. You don't put pressure down, and it gives you a ring sound. That's what that is there. So yeah, we had another stretch four here. So really make sure you keep the hand back there. Very, very important. All right, any questions so far? No, 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 no. All right, let's keep going. our first fifth position spot so we're basically going to shift in the fifth position here oh that was nippy and then we got fourth finger we're going to have second finger in fifth position um, now right here i recommend going down into third right here third position it's really hard to write on this thing <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, third finger here. Ooh. And then staying in third there. So basically we have. So third position there. F natural. Third 
And first position is fine there. So the whole part. So yeah, I think um, going up to there for next week um, would be fine. So I will put a mark there, um, right here. This will be your assignment for next week to go up to here with the um, mazas. Yeah, so this is really good practice for fourth finger stretches, for kind of getting more of an aggressive tone with the index, and um, obviously, yeah, find, you know, working on some 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 spots that take some good practice with intonation as well. All right, questions, comments, questions. You guys like the format of this? Does this work? Jill, any any uh, comments? Go ahead. I'm just uh, <laughs> my my etude book was a a different book number, so I'm trying to read it off the screen. It's really really difficult. Oh, okay. Um, print print a copy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'll also have the, the um, image, the paint image of the um, of what I'm doing as well. So, yeah, I would just print it off after the class, whatever. Good. Any other any questions so far on the E2 training? All right. Let's go on to the Bach double. back all right so the Bach double very good piece that I absolutely love and a lot of violinists love to learn it it's um, technically um, a piece that um, you can play along with another violinist so Suzuki book four has the second violin version of, of the piece and then Suzuki book five has the um, first violin version of it so this is the first violin version we're going to be going through Starting at the 2D right here. Raise your hand if you guys can see my sheet music. Make sure. Okay. All right. So uh, we worked on the key of um, the key of F in the scale training. So that was good because this is in the key of F. That's sort of why we did that. And uh, lots of accidentals, lots of style things I'll point out in here. Um, let's start from the beginning. So we got uh, some fingerings I can give you guys here. So um, it's like a bolder color. So what I did there is I shifted right here at the spot. This is my shift. So that's where I go from first position into third position. And I always in, uh, signify that by Roman numerals. So that's where we're going in the third. So this will technically be a second finger on the D string, even though it looks like a L and not a two. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then we have a half step to the G sharp. Second finger, second finger, one. So let's see. Actually, sorry, I, I go back to first here. This is open. This would be a three. So that's first position. How would I do undo? That undo is always good. So then, okay. yeah, that's the nice thing about computer. The advantage to technology is I can undo myself. If I was in person and writing in sheet music, I would have to erase. So hey, I'm giving you guys a, an advantage to um, online training here. This is nice. All right, so we have.
All right, and then shifting is going to happen again here. So first finger in the third position right here. And this is a half step mark. It's like that. Okay, so um, let me go back to my regular screen here. I'll give you guys some tips on, on the piece here. So yeah, I, I play a lot at the frog. Um, I'm trying to use a lot of small muscles to keep things real um, real chippy and um, shorts. It's kind of the style of the Baroque style. It's not real legato. It's more um, separated, so it's not. So at the frog. trying to hang out with the frog. Like that. So yeah, it's sort of a um, separated, you know, notes between a lot of those and just kind of keep keeping the air between the notes a little bit more um, off the string ish. Um, not legato for sure. Any questions? Mitch, go ahead. Mitch, you had a question? Maybe you did anymore? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Can okay. you hear me? I can. Uh, what what book would would be the ones to get? Because I'm doing this off my phone and printing is like a big deal. It'd be hard for me to print this stuff up. Um, what books are you say Suzuki five or something? Suzuki Book 5 is um, where the Bach double, yeah, the uh, first violin version of the Bach double is. So I recommend that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, the Mazas is technically in the public domain. I have a link there. I'll have it in the description section on YouTube. Um, but yeah, that's, you can, um, you can technically just get the Mazas book on Amazon. So Mazas Maz is M-A-Z-A-S. M A Z A S. Yeah. On Amazon. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon. Yep. There is it a certain number, Maza one or Maza five or Maza book one. Book one. Yep. Okay. Yep. And this is five. Okay, that's all I needed to know on that. Great. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions, comments? So far, Dallas here. I'm gonna bring him in. All right. Um, any comments about the speed of is what I'm playing? Do you guys find um, that it's better for me to take it slower first and then kind of work up speed? Or do you like it just the way I'm doing it? I'm curious on that. If you guys can comment on that. Everybody's different with that, I know, but I can at least get it for you guys. Um, feel free to comment in the comment box about that. All right, let's go back to the back double okay so we're basically through more recently in the last 18 months and now um, this is going to come home all right so let me take it from the uh, right at this section right here So this is going to be a shift right here in a third position. I know some of you guys might struggle a little bit with the rhythm um, when you get to this spot here. So what I do is I count this section in 16th notes, subdividing. So basically I'm picking everything in 16th notes. So this would be two sixteenths, two sixteenths. This would be four plus two sixteenths. would be six. Six counts there. One, one, two, and then this would be two eighth notes, one quarter notes would be four sixteenth notes, one, 
one. And this, yeah, this is really good practice to really master um, any rhythm section to subdivide like this. Um, this would be two plus two would be four. Okay. So if I if I count with you guys, so if I start counting, um, I'll just count here. So we're here, starting right here. One two, one two, one two, three four five six. One 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 two, one two three four. One 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 two, one two three four. One two three four, one two three four. One 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 one. Raise your hand if that makes sense. Counting that. See how I subdivided into sixteenths there. So anytime you have a a section that has syncopation, especially. You want to definitely count it and, and subdivide it. So this is four, right? And so on. Okay. All right. So if I keep going, I basically I go back in the first position. I don't have to, but I, I do here. I actually shift up here. Oh, and then back to first here. And then like that. All right, and I think I'm going to have you guys just go to there. For next week so we're just kind of taking the first bit of this and we're taking the first bit of the mazas and we're taking the first um or two scales so your assignment if you guys want to write down your assignment you know that are watching this it's going to be the two scales c major and f major in two octaves with thirds mazas part one of the sweeping stroke and then the bach double part one of the first violin part. So we'll we'll start with that. And then I would love for you guys to actually play next week. Um, so I can hear you play. Cause yeah, there's so much, so much more to be said based on how you guys are playing certain things. I can point things out, et cetera. Um, so if you guys want to prepare for next week, then I can um, hear you play what we've assigned and then I can give you guys further tips. And then, yeah, we can also move on to the next sections. That's what we'll do next week um, at eight o'clock um, for the uh, weekly Tuesday night advanced class. And I will post this recording and, and video on the um, advanced Facebook group that I created. So I don't know if you guys are part of that yet, but I'll make sure you guys get on that. Let me actually just post that for those of you guys that are here right now, um, the Facebook group for advanced oh, let's see, group. Feel free to join, guy. We, we, li we like you. We don't mind. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I basically have different groups for all the different um, levels so that all the posts are kind of being directed at a particular um, level. So this is the advanced group. So if you haven't joined this and you're more advanced, I recommend. So I will post this on YouTube too in the description section. So it's facebook.com slash group slash violin check advanced violinists. You can get on that. And I'll post um, all the recordings and, and there. Any questions so, uh, about the class so far? Free to raise your hand. All right, raise your hand if you're willing to play next week after practicing this a little bit, getting some tips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't bite. <laughs> Bill, maybe. <laughs> cool. Hi. Yeah, that's good. Hey, I would try it if I could uh, make sure I could uh, learn it and get some of the other positions in there. Uh, but I haven't moved much from uh, first position, to be quite honest with you. You know, if anybody could figure it out, though, I would. I would give you some, you know, good chance to somehow find your way up there. So, Sam. 
that might motivate you. Who knows? So cool. Um, anybody else that wants to um, play next week, um, we'll do that as well as progress to the next uh, part of the um, excerpts. Any other questions? All right, well, let me give you guys the code for the entries in the contest because everybody here gets 100 entries for coming today. Congratulations, everybody. And then everybody that's watching this uh, live, or sorry, the recording also can get entries, uh, 25 entries to be exact. So I'm gonna give you guys that. And um, the code is gonna be, um, I gotta make sure I don't do one that I've already done. <laughs> I think I've not done this one. Bill, please correct me, or Marianne, you guys have entered most of the codes. Um, adult Doyle is the code. So A-D-U-L-T, adult, and then Doyle is D-O-Y-L-E, adult Doyle. Just for the 25 entries, and then for the 100, there's a number added on the beginning that I'll post in the chat. So here's the chat code for the hundredth. Don't say that out loud. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've given that one out yet. So that should be what you need to um, enter in. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the class and you guys will hopefully come next week at eight o'clock. So any other questions? I see Kimberly's here. Bring you on a second. <laughs>